Welcome back to Politics, Please. I'm Paul Simon. And I'm Kayla Agnos. And today we're going to be talking about the election. So Trump has won the 2024 election. Yes, I, thank you. I, thank I, you. So what are you most excited about with Trump's candidacy? Uh, I feel like the thing that I'm most excited about is for there to be better border control. And overall, if Trump does close the border, I'm just really like excited and I'm happy that we get to have more security when it comes to the border and stuff like that. I feel like the immigration thing has gotten way, way out of hand in the U.S. And so I think I'm just I'm really ready for that to be played into action. So what are you most disappointed about from this whole election season as a whole? I mean, obviously, we didn't win. That's I'm uh, a little disappointed about that one. Right. I mean, if I'm honest, I'm not a big fan of like Trump's uh, policies, like a lot of things that he's been talking about. I'm just like, it's like a big thing with like his like economic, like the tariffs. I feel like that's just going to stop people from trading with us as much. Like we're just going to have a decrease in foreign trade and we really need trade. Right. Yeah. Um, I've said, you know, we have now the oldest president in office ever, 78 years old. I don't know. I'm, I'm hopeful. You know, I'm, I'm hoping that we'll get some things and even like some things that I'll agree with. Right. I'm hopeful. I don't think it'll be that bad unless if it is that bad. But like, I think that with the election, there's both on both sides, there's going to be people who are really upset and that are really happy. So it's, it was kind of inevitable, mm -hmm. you know, if Trump, since Trump won, a lot of Democrats are angry. If Kamala won, a lot of Republicans would be angry. It's just, it's a mood point. You can't, no one's going to be getting along for this week. I feel like everyone's going to be kind of up and at each other. Like they're all, everyone's going to be upset. There's just going to be a lot of arguing. Uh, when I came to school today, I was prepared for that. There was some arguing between me and my friend group even. It's just, it's a really tough season for everyone especially right after the election. Everyone's trying to accept what's happening. So, like, I totally understand the disappointment. And I think it'll get better. Obviously, there are things that Trump's probably going to do that a lot of Democrats won't agree with. But there's also going to be a lot of great things that I think could be beneficial for us as a whole society, not just Democrats or Republicans. Yeah. But yeah, and I think just in our, like, little position here, we can just remind everybody to be civil. You know, it's not the end of the world. Right. There's always next term. Yeah, totally. Uh, I think these next four years are going to be pretty beneficial, whether it be, whether you be agree with me or not. I think that there's going to be a lot of beneficial things to come out of it. And I think that, yeah, we're going to make America great again. But yeah, it's just, it's just four years, four long years, and then everything will be right in the world again. Let's talk about the amendments that were voted on. So Florida Amendment 1 uh, required partisan elections for school boards, which basically just meant that school board elections would have parties. Uh, that lost. It only had 45%, which I think is honestly good. I don't think they should have a party. That's just stupid. I feel like it would be very controversial also. Like, think about it. You walk into school and you know what all your teachers believe in. And I feel like, you know, it could affect student-teacher relationships as well. Yeah, and it's just like the school board should be focusing on the education of the children. Right. It like really does not matter your stance on or like party. That should not ever be a uh, something that puts you up for that or anything. It should be based off individual beliefs and on individual like standings. Yeah, I think it makes sense to keep it kind of private from the school atmosphere. Yeah. Uh, Florida Amendment 2 creates a constitutional right to hunt and fish. That makes totally sense. Like... That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I mean, I still prefer, like, you have to have a, a license for that just because it's, you know, but and, I don't really care that much. And this law was voted on yes with 67.4% voting yes on that. Yeah. So I think it's kind of very obvious what the people want. So. Yeah, I mean, I'm indifferent. I'm not going to be like, I'm not going to you know, go It's hunting just hunting and, and fishing. fishing. Yeah. And you could fish in most places. Most places have open fishing. So right. it's just kind of whatever. Uh, Florida Amendment Three legalizes recreational marijuana. That was voted no with only a 44% voting. Um, so like I, I was even telling you earlier, like I, I hate the smell of it. So yeah. I'm completely fine with that. Yeah, me too. Obviously, I think marijuana is a very dangerous thing when it's not medicinal. Mm -hmm. And I mean, medicinal marijuana is already legal. Yeah, that's legalized. It's really easy to get too. So like, honestly, just like 
Obvious, get a it's based exactly. It's kind of just like I don't think that it's it was necessary to be legal, but I'm glad they made it illegal. Um, Florida Amendment Four creates a constitutional right to abortion, with and that was voted to no, uh, keeping it at a six week maximum. Yeah, for abortions. Um, I think that's a very heavy topic. It's a very touchy subject that I don't think we would fully be able to get into right now. Yeah. Uh, that would be a whole new episode in itself. But uh, basically, that lost. The Florida Amendment 5 adjusts home property tax exemptions for inflation. I believe just means that property tax is exempt from inflation. I could totally be wrong about that, though. Um, don't quote me, but that got voted yes by a 66% vote, which is nice. Um not something that I think we'll have to deal with for a while, but, you know. And Florida Amendment 6 repeals public financing for political campaigns. And that was uh, only got 49.6%, so it didn't pass. Uh, basically, I believe it just means, like, you can't publicly fund, um, like, you can't ask for donations for your political campaign. You have to raise them yourself. Uh, but now they have to rely on the Florida Election Campaign Financing Act which just pretty much finances uh, political like uh, rallies and all that kind of stuff. Right. If you were trying to be governor or cabinet or whatever. Yeah, I think that makes, that's fair. Yeah. It makes sense. I think that makes sense. Um, you know, it should be delegated to the government and not the people. The people, yeah, for sure. Anyways, that was our take on the election. And the Florida amendments. And please come back for more politics next time.